Welcome and thank you for your interest in the Federal Highway Administration's Highway Safety Benefit Cost Analysis Spreadsheet Tool. The purpose of this spreadsheet tool is to assist you with preparing an economic analysis of infrastructure projects to support highway safety management decisions. After watching this video, you should be able to 1. Explain the objective and benefits of using the Benefit Cost Analysis Spreadsheet Tool 2. Use the Benefit Cost Analysis Spreadsheet Tool and 3. Access related resources. You can watch the entire video from start to finish or use the table of contents feature on the left to skip to certain sections. A benefit cost analysis, or BCA, captures all benefits to society for a project or course of action and the cost to achieve those benefits. Using the Highway Safety BCA spreadsheet tool, you can compare the cost effectiveness of multiple options to determine which one provides the most economically efficient investment alternative for a particular site or region. The FHWA developed the Highway Safety Benefit Cost Analysis Guide and Spreadsheet Tool to help you perform economic analysis of infrastructure projects. The guide provides detailed information about highway safety BCA concepts, terminology, and methods. The spreadsheet tool will help you implement the procedures described in the guide. The primary benefit of the spreadsheet tool is automating the methods and calculations involved in the economic analysis of infrastructure projects. You can use the spreadsheet tool for project level or network level analysis. At the project level, you can analyze single or multiple improvements at a given location. At the network level, you can analyze projects that include multiple locations such as systemic improvements. Now let's take a closer look at the spreadsheet tool. The remainder of this video is a demonstration of the tool, starting with an overview of each tab, followed by a practical example of data entry to perform a simple BCA. The demonstrations throughout this video are recorded with version 2.0 of the spreadsheet tool, which was released in March of 2018. The homepage tab provides information about the spreadsheet tool, a link to the Highway Safety BCA guide, and contact information to report errors and issues. In addition, buttons across the top of the page take you to the various sections of the tool. The Instructions tab includes links to the Highway Safety BCA tool reference guide and the table of contents for the spreadsheet tool. The reference guide is the primary documentation on the use of the spreadsheet tool. This table of contents mirrors the table of contents in the reference guide, making it easy for you to refer to specific sections. The next four tabs are numbered 1 to 4 to guide you through the tool. You may complete a BCA by entering the minimum required data or adjust default values as desired. The legend in the upper right tells us that green cells are for the required user supplied data. Blue cells are model default values that you can override if desired. Gray cells are model calculations. The project tab is split into two components, project data and project cost. The project data section includes several default values, but it also asks you to input a few key pieces of information. First, you are asked to select a specific roadway type. Some of the default values will change when the roadway type is selected. Next are the analysis year and length of construction. The total period is calculated, and the next few items are default values used by the tool. You can override any of these default values by entering a new value in the green cells. The second half of the project data section is used only for reliability benefit calculations. Reliability is usually associated with peak period traffic conditions and the variability of travel times in that period. For roads which do not experience peak periods of traffic, such as urban other and rural other, we do not calculate the reliability benefits. The project cost portion allows you to enter cost data for each year in the analysis period. You would enter the life cycle costs in the appropriate year, including initial costs, maintenance and operations costs, and major rehabilitation costs. The next set of information you are asked to enter are the project crash data. The project crash data tab is used to estimate annual crash reductions. To start, choose between single or multiple countermeasures. If you are analyzing multiple countermeasures as part of the same alternative, select the appropriate calculation method to estimate the combined effect in the next drop-down box. The next data you need to enter is the estimated annual crashes without treatment. Ideally, this would be the expected crashes using the empirical Bayes method. However, this could also be the observed or predicted crashes for the base condition. The expected crashes using the empirical Bayes method is preferred because it combines the predicted crashes from applicable calibrated safety performance function, or SPF, with the observed crash history. 
Next, you enter the applicable crash modification factor, or CMF. You can find an applicable CMF from the CMF Clearinghouse or from your agency's CMF list, if available. The green button will take you to the CMF Clearinghouse website. As we scroll down, you can see the calculation for the annual reduction in crash frequency and severity. Again, numbers can be overwritten in the green cells, column 5, if you computed the crash reductions outside of the spreadsheet. Next, we have the Analysis Parameters tab. This tab contains default values for the benefit calculations based on the roadway facility selected in the Project Information tab. You can review and adjust the parameters used to calculate project benefits, such as value of time, travel time delay factors, vehicle operating factors, and emissions factors. A primary source of data for these default values is the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's report titled The Economic and Societal Impacts of Motor Vehicle Crashes. More information on the sources used are contained in the Lookup tab. After you are happy with the parameters, you can move on to the Results tab. The Results tab outlines the present value costs and benefits, the net present value, the benefit cost ratio, and the discount rate you used. Benefits are itemized and summarized in the next table. Two graphs are shown below, one to summarize the benefits and another to compare the benefits and costs. You can easily export this tab to PDF by the print feature in the upper right. The summarization is great to compare different scenarios and to use in a report or presentation. The next five tabs are not necessary unless you are interested in viewing the calculations of benefits or changing the default values used in the spreadsheet. The Crash Benefits Worksheet calculates the monetary benefit for annual crash reductions. Column 1 is our calculated value of annual crash reductions from the Project Crash Data tab, and you will see this again in other benefits worksheets. Column 2 is the Comprehensive Unit Crash Cost by Severity from the 2018 FHWA Crash Cost Report. Column 3 is our annual crash reduction benefit calculated from column 1 and 2 as shown in the formula in yellow at the top and when you click on the cell. The Travel Time Benefits Worksheet calculates the monetary benefit for the annual reduction in travel time delay based on the annual reduction in crashes. Values from the NHTSA report are used to estimate delay reduction in hours. We multiply the total delay reduction benefits by the unit value of time to get our travel time benefit. The Reliability Benefits Worksheet calculates the monetary benefit for the annual improvements to reliability based on the annual reduction in crashes. Information from the Second Strategic Highway Research Program, or SHRP2, are used for these calculations. The Vehicle Operating Cost Benefits Worksheet calculates the monetary benefit for the annual reduction in vehicle operating costs based on the annual reduction in crashes. The NHTSA approach, described previously in Travel Time Benefits, is used for monetizing fuel consumption change by crash severity and roadway facility type. We multiply the total annual fuel reduction by the unit value of fuel for the total vehicle operation cost savings. The Emissions Benefit Worksheet calculates the monetary benefit for the annual reduction in emissions. The NHTSA approach is again used for monetizing emissions reductions by crash severity and roadway facility type. As mentioned earlier when we looked at the Analysis Parameters tab, the Lookup Worksheet contains reference tables and data sources used to calculate project benefits. Here you can modify the default values. The sheet is currently protected and we will need to unprotect it to make changes. To do that, we go to the Review ribbon and click on Unprotect. The password is safety, so we type in S-A-F-E-T-Y. The sheet is now unprotected, and we could change any value on the sheet. It is a good idea to reprotect the sheet for security. To do so, click Protect and type in the password. Do it twice to confirm. The sheet is now protected. The final calculations are where all the year-by-year -year benefits for the life of this particular project are shown, the present value is determined, and the sum of the annual value of costs or benefits are calculated. Information on this tab is pulled over to our Results tab. As you can see, there is very little requested of the user, but you can input a lot more information if you deem it appropriate. Now that we went through the spreadsheet tool, let's go over an example. The Highway Safety BCA Guide is a great resource to practice using the tool. Chapter 7 applies the methodologies explained in the guide to various examples. For this exercise, we will look at the single countermeasure scenario from section 7.1.
In this scenario, an agency is considering the conversion of a two-way stop-controlled intersection to either a signalized intersection or a single lane roundabout. We will run through alternative one, the signalized intersection. Jumping back into the BCA spreadsheet tool, we will begin by inputting data in the Project Information tab. In the Project Information tab, we start by identifying the agency, project title, the date, your name, and the name of the alternative. We are looking at alternative one in this example, so we name this new signal. As a reminder, green cells are user supplied data, blue cells are model defaults, and gray cells are model calculations. In the project data section, the minimum inputs include the roadway facility type, analysis period, and length of construction. In this example, the roadway facility type is an urban arterial. The analysis period is 20 years, which is the lowest common multiple of the two service lives, comparing a 10-year signal with a 20-year roundabout, and we will assume one year of construction. For roads such as the urban arterial in this example, it is useful to calculate the reliability benefits. As presented in section 7.1 of the guide, we have a two-lane road where the free flow speed is 45 miles per hour, the traffic volume in the peak period is 1,600 vehicles per hour per lane, and the peak period is two hours per day. This gives us a total of 3,200 vehicles per direction during the peak period. For signalized arterial corridors, it is reasonable to define the segment length between two or more signals. In this case, the analysis section is 0.8 miles, which includes the intersection of interest and the nearest adjacent signalized intersections. The next section is project costs. Enter the construction cost in year one and any ongoing maintenance or rehabilitation costs in the appropriate years. As you can see, we will have a major rehabilitation cost in year 10 since the life cycle of this signal is 10 years and the analysis period is 20 years. Note that the tool calculates net present value of the project cost, which is key for our comparison to net present benefits. Next, we enter crash information in the Project Crash Data tab. For this example, we want to select a single countermeasure because we are comparing a traffic signal to the base condition. The calculation method only applies to multiple countermeasures, so here we select Not Applicable. The first data you need to enter is the estimated annual crashes without treatment. Here, we enter the expected crashes based on the empirical Bayes method for the existing two-way stop-controlled intersection. Next, you need to enter an applicable CMF. For this example, we will be using CMF 322 from the CMF Clearinghouse, which represents the safety effects of installing a traffic signal at an urban two-way stop control intersection. The CMF value is 0.95 and applies to all crash severity levels. After we input the baseline crash data in CMFs, we can see the calculation for the annual reduction in crash frequency and severity. The calculation for annual reductions in crash frequency and severity in column four is the primary input to the rest of the calculations conducted in the BCA. Before moving on to the results tab, check the parameters in the analysis parameters tab and update as desired. Here, we can see the default parameters used for urban arterials. For this example, we will not overwrite any parameters. In the results tab, we see our present value cost was around $620,000. The total benefit is around $1.3 million, and the benefit cost ratio is 2.13. This tab also itemizes and graphs the benefits. As we can see, most of the benefits are from the change in the estimated number of crashes. There is a print feature in the upper right, so you can quickly print or export to PDF for use in a report or presentation. The summarization is also great to compare different scenarios, like in this example. Here, we walk through a single countermeasure example from the BCA guide. You can use the tool for multiple countermeasures. The methods and calculations demonstrated in this presentation and facilitated by the Highway Safety BCA spreadsheet tool will help to identify the most economically efficient alternatives and support highway safety investment decisions. There are many resources available to support you in understanding what a benefit cost analysis is and in conducting analysis using the spreadsheet tool. Click the web link shown here to access each resource. The first resource is the FHWA Highway Safety BCA Guide. The guide has much more information about fundamental BCA concepts, factors to consider, common challenges, and examples. The second resource is a link to the Highway Safety BCA Spreadsheet tool, featured in this video. The third resource is the FHWA Highway Safety Benefit Cost Analysis tool, Reference Guide. 
the reference guide walks through the spreadsheet tool in greater detail. Refer to this link for a detailed e-learning module on the Highway Safety BCA Guide and Tool. The FHWA Crash Cost for Highway Safety Analysis Guide has more information about crash costs and the calculations. A related tool helps to develop or update crash cost values for later use in a benefit cost analysis. Thank you for your interest in the Highway Safety Benefit Cost Analysis Spreadsheet Tool. We hope you've gained a better understanding of how to use the tool to perform highway safety benefit cost analysis.